You know, it's kind of chilly up here. Yeah, we should have packed you a little sweater. Ready to go. Care to take us back to your place? Thank you, Burble. I wonder what's giving the sky this color. Ha! Look who's acting shy when fighting someone their own size. I wouldn't call that acting shy. This might be a good time to test the capsules that we put together. First, you'll have to explain to me how they work. It's easy. First, you load up the capsule with flow. Then, you just need to activate it. Here we go! Haha! -ha. Well done! You're safe! Nice! He's fighting back! We may need to change our strategy. Target locked. Oh. That looks bad. Eat it! Next time you'll think twice about eating babies! Are you okay? Now that's how we treat baby eaters around here. Ah. Eat it! I got your back. Sweet. Chew on this. You. You got this? You bet I do. Ugh. Oh, Blute. Chew on this. Ooh. Are you alright? Next time, you'll think twice about eating babies. Chew on this, you... <laughs> now that's how we treat baby eaters around here. This one's ready. I'm on it. <laughs> oh, girl. I hope you weren't too attached to your teeth. You're safe. Nice. Bam! <laughs> Turn. I got you know what to do. On it. One left. Your turn. I got this. Bye bye. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Get out of here. Hope I don't see your face ever again. I'm surprised, Kay. I thought you would start lecturing about the different paths of survival. Chalk it up to the laws of nature. Each one has its place, yada yada yada. Yes, everyone has its place, except the baby eaters. Huh. Well, our friend looks grateful. I'm sure that's the reason she brought us here. Alright, then I guess she can bring us back now. Can't we stick around a bit longer? In these swamps? It's a nice change of pace. <sighs> okay, okay.
Flow burst. Flow burst. A job well done. Come on, lady. Time to bring us home. Have you noticed that there are no birds around here? They must have a natural predator in the area. Or maybe they don't like musty swamps. Scratching for baby eaters. You thought you were so sly. One day we're gonna break a limb doing this. And it will be worth it! <laughs> Should've run faster, big guy. I know very well where I'm going. Same place as you. Have you ever tried hopping on it backward? I wouldn't be here speaking to you if I had tried. I feel moist. And a bit stinky, but especially moist. We've earned our next shower. Now's not the time. Dodge this one. Let's try something else. Watch out! You're safe. Nice. Target locked. We're starting to look pretty tired. Your turn. Yep. I got this. <gasps> done and done. One to go. I don't like this. Next time you're blocked. You know what to do. On it. Now shoot. The end. Oh, he's begging for more. So, this is done.
Do it again? Easy now. I think you're forming a habit. Nice, nice. That's some good growing. Moist. Huh? Oh, never mind. I was just thinking that it's a weird word. Moist. Moist, moist. 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 I hope that's gonna be enough. Lucky for us, 50% of healing is in your mind. That smells good. Oh, I need a break. Huh? Are you okay? I've never seen you shy away from finishing a plate. Bit hyperbolic. Ah, uh, it tastes bad, doesn't it? No, it's really good. It's just, when you said you were making a salad, I wasn't expecting this. This is actually really, really fatty. Well, of course there's boba nut in it. There's gotta be a way to soak up a bit of the fat, you know? Maybe if I pan-fried them, then drain them in an ice bath with some cheesecloth, that would remove the excess fat, but preserve the texture of the nuts. There you go. Sounds great. I'll try that now. Uh, okay. You can try that for next time. Because I'm really not hungry right now. Huh. Okay. Next time. Oh, shooting star. Haha, ha, very funny. Huh? What? I, I don't see what's so funny. Wait. What? Did you really see a shooting star? <laughs> well, yeah, I just told you. Wait, 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 wait. Shooting stars really exist? Why wouldn't they exist? Wait. You've never seen a shooting star? Mmm, never. I thought it was a made up thing. The kind of thing you tell little kids so that they keep quiet. Look up in the sky, see if there are any shooting stars. And I was looking and looking, but I never saw any, so I thought... But that's horrible. What? Didn't your parents tell you that kind of stuff? I am so sorry. I am such a boron. No worries. All right, you. We're gonna find your first shooting star. Pick one part of the sky, stare at it, and do not move. Okay. How long should I wait? Well, sometimes a few minutes. Sometimes you won't see one all night. So we could be waiting for no reason right now? I hope it's worth it. Should we go out and explore? I would love that. Whew. That feels better.
Smells pretty musty in here. We're probably the first people to enter this place in years. Do you think this was someone's house? Certainly looks like it. This was probably the bedroom. This was the kitchen. Except someone cleared it all out. Not all. Look! Okay, all of it except the teapot. They must have forgotten about that. Their loss, our win. What? Are you thinking about keeping it? Why not? It'll be more useful in the nest. What are you going to use it for? I was thinking... tea? <laughs> yeah. All right. Don't think so. Cover me. Target locked. Booyah! No way. Boom, baby! Hey. Now what? Let's get it over with. And done. Great job. You're welcome. Oh, brute! One to go! Eat it! He's ripe for the picking! You? Yep! Saw that! Done and done! This one has a hilarious shape. <laughs> for real! Rock. You're a rock guy, aren't you? Once again, I'm a biologist, not a geologist. But you're right. That is a cool rock. Getting worn out. This one's ready. I got this. Bam! That didn't seem to bother him much. Bam! <laughs> Ooh. On your mark. Anytime. Ow. You block, I'll hit. <sighs> go, go, K. He lowered his guard. All set. Go, go, go! Eat it! You know what to do. Yep. Bye-bye. Yes! Go there. Uh, sit. Here it is. Flow. All we had to do was ask. I hope that we'll find some lufocrits. Moist lufocrits. Stop it.
pretty one. little bit helps. Perfect landing, as always. Make sure they don't get squished. The apple brew should be ready by now. Looks like it is. There's an uprising in the apiary. The factories on down are at a standstill. Beauty is complete havoc. The revolutionary forces have stood heavy losses, but everything could still change. The remaining able-bodied survivors have taken up arms and gather on top to launch the last offensive. Your many years working in a revolutionary cell have turned you into a natural leader. The crowd behind you is awaiting instructions. I march on the council. Some of the revolutionaries in your group have taken issue with your decision. They wanted to put an end to the matchmaker's dictatorship, but they cannot imagine a society without the council. Ugh, Borons! They're wanting to split up. They head for the matchmaker. Let them do it. We don't need these cowardly cowards. The raging mass quickly splits into two groups. Most of the revolutionaries are still behind you, but you can feel that their confidence has been shaken. You finally arrive in front of the council's palace, but as you start ramming into the doors, they open on their own, unleashing an army of hornet drones who are hiding inside. Bloot! 
The Hornets charge. They neutralize your first line within a few seconds. Some of them are moving swiftly towards your flanks. They're trying to surround you. We press on. Press on! You shout your order, but it's too late. You are too disorganized, but especially you are too few. The line of hornets manages to cordon you off. You are trapped, stuck in place. Through one of the hornets' audio chat, you can hear that the other group has had the same fate. You feel the end coming. The revolution has been stifled. Suddenly, right under your feet, a trap door opens. You see K signaling for you to come down. I follow him. You go down the ladder. The underground tunnels lead you to a secret spatial port where the nest is awaiting you, ready to take off in case things take a turn. And take a turn they do. K takes your hand to lead you in. I kiss him. After being routed by the hornets, the touch of his lips feels very comforting. K lays his hands below your hips and brings you toward him. I grab his butt. You slip your hands in the back of his pants and dig your nails into the flesh of his buttocks. Oh, you feel them tightening with surprise. Kay puts his hand behind your neck and a shiver goes through your body. You can no longer hear the commotion outside. Your spirit is captured by the taste of his saliva, the smell of his sweat. I let him have his way. Kay's lips slide along your cheek. His hand slides along your spine. You can feel his penis rubbing on your stomach. And as Kay sinks his teeth into your neck... Okay, stop. Stop talking. Show me. Show me.